To solve this matrix, we need to look both at our columns and our diagonals, but let's start by looking at our diagonals. I want to draw special attention to elements 2, 6, and 7 because we are going to consider these the original form of this shape. This is the shape that all the other elements are based upon. If we look at elements 3, 4, and 8, we can see that they are missing the two triangles present in our original shape. So we can say missing 2. And in elements 1, 5, and 9, we can see that they are missing one of the triangles of the original shape. So they are missing one. Now let's take a look at our columns. If we look at our columns, we can see that there is a rotation taking place. But the rotation is hard to spot because it is also combined with this diagonal logic. So we're rotating um, clockwise one time. So we can see that the central diamond matches in position. But because element four falls under the missing two triangles rule, it doesn't have any triangles. So then if we were to rotate once again clockwise 90 degrees and apply our diagonal rule of element seven is the original, we can see that we've added the other diamond back. Let's take a look at column two. If we take our first element, which is following the original, no diamonds, or excuse me, no triangles are missing, and we rotate it clockwise once, we can see that it matches element two, but it is missing one of its triangles because it is element five, it's following the 159 diagonal rule. If we take that shape, and we rotate it again, 90 degrees clockwise. We can see that it matches element three, but it's following the um, element three, four, eight diagonal rule of missing both of its triangles. So with all of this in mind, we can look at our third column and we can start with element six. We can skip straight to element six and rotate it clockwise 90 degrees. And then say, well, element nine is following the missing one rule from the diagonal logic. So we can look at our answer choices. We are looking for a vertical black diamond in the center with a triangle on the bottom. So that gives us answer choice C as our correct answer.